I want to show you a very classic recursive function. So we're going to say function fib of n. So this is the Fibonacci sequence. And the way this works is if n is less than or equal to one, then what we're going to do is simply return our n. And then what we're going to say is return the Fibonacci sequence of n minus one plus the Fibonacci sequence of n minus two. And then if we said down here, console.log fib of let's say five, run this, you'll see we get five. And then if we did something like say 10, you'd see we get 55. And the Fibonacci sequence, if you're not familiar with it, by the way, is simply these numbers zero, one, and then we add those two numbers together. So we have one, then we add the last two numbers again. So we have two, and then we add again the last two numbers. So zero plus one is one, and then one plus one is two. And then we say one plus two is going to be three. And then two plus three is going to be five. Three plus five is going to be eight. Five plus eight is 13 and so on and so forth. And this is why the base case is simply to return n because if n is zero, the answer is zero. And if n is one, the answer is one. And again, we could have some error handling for negative numbers if we wanted to, but this is a basic version of the Fibonacci function and one we see a lot when we're actually teaching about recursion.